Meditation's purpose is to enable you to sit on the lotus throne, the Sri Nalinasana. The Buddhists speak of it very clearly and yet indistinctly because they refer to Om Mani Padme Hum, the diamond in the lotus. But where is the lotus? What is the location of the lotus throne? How do you get there? It is only through silence, wakeful, devoted silence, silence surrendered to ultimate reality, that enables the accumulation of spiritual energy that raises the vibrational frequency that brings you to chakra seven, the thousand petaled lotus, sahasrara chakra. That is the lotus throne. Don't settle for any lesser lotus to sit upon. And so when chakra seven opens and the thousand petaled lotus releases its radiance, its splendor, its power, its glory, then the diamond of the purified consciousness is filled with the supreme light. And their consciousness abides in the world, but no longer of it. It is from this lotus throne which is the portal to the absolute, that that supreme light can now flow freely through all seven bodies. So sitting on the throne is not the end, it's the beginning. And the next phase then is to bring the light back down into the bliss body, the command center, into the wisdom body, into the, the mind, the mental, the heart, and then into the lower chakras, sublimating them, turning them. And as the force of the power of light completely enters into the grossest material level of reality, that level is transformed, transmuted through the vibrational frequency that awakens the elements of matter at a quantum level and shifts the quantum wave function. The energy then will emit photons, bio photons that will create an aura, the electromagnetic energy of the prana will completely fill and heal the body and the energies will transmit and emanate outward into an infinite field of presence. The goal of meditation is not to leave the world behind, but to come into the real and then to return to the unreal world and bring the real into it. But this cannot be sustained. The stability of the lotus throne is not complete because there are still traces of sanskaras of attachment to the phenomenal plane. One is not of the world, but one is still in the world. One still has a body. One still functions. And this creates the last weak but sufficiently strong bonds to hold the consciousness within that realm that keeps it from the absolute liberation. There is grace, there is power, there is compassion, the bodhicitta is released, the power 
of redemption is given, but it is not yet attained fully until one moves from the lotus throne to yet a second throne, the final throne. The final throne abides beyond the diaphanon. in that ultimate and absolute non-duality in which there is no world, no time or space. And the play of Maya that is a flux and a mirage no longer even appears. It is this absolute at the very core and heart of God consciousness that is the final throne that must be attained to stabilize the lotus throne and enable the energies of the absolute to cross the diaphanon from the noumenal into the phenomenal. And this requires going even beyond absolute silence in the sense that there is no longer anyone being silent. There is only the absolute nothingness, but the nothingness that gives birth to all. All comes out of the silence, the emptiness, the absolute potentiality of all possible worlds and every form of beauty and goodness. And at the end, these two thrones become one. The Satyogi is one who learns never to leave the throne, the combined form throne of Shiva and Shakti. And these thrones can only be attained when there is no further desire for the enjoyment of the mirage, the phenomenal world, and no further identification with any character within that play. The true empowerment comes from liberation from all identity structures. And the refusal to interrupt the connection with the flow of Shakti that comes through the silence. The absolute silence is the carrier wave of the Supreme Shakti. And it is this that fills the space of consciousness with supreme light. And that light dissolves all structures of symbolic patterning so that the structures of the world kept as a standing wave which stagnates the quantum wave function is released and the dream can be redreamed.
It is the only way to achieve liberation. It requires the absolute annihilation of all identity, of all desire, of all fear, of all fantasy, of all forms of love that are not the supreme love. And through the gaining of that supreme love, the most powerful and healing, compassionate love for all, all beings, is given. And life can be lived without need, with an overflow of that power of goodness and light that can heal all of those others whom your ego had cared for but could not help. But until there has been a purification that removes all taint of envy, envy is at the core of the ego. It is the mind parasite that destroys one's happiness. The envious ego wants what it does not have what it projects others as having, and it eats away at its peace, and it creates hatred and anger and greed and attachment and arrogance and all of the other pathological vices. And what it is envious of is its own real self that it has rejected. It's envious of that ability to transcend the false that it has thrown away out of addiction to the enjoyment of that false world and prevents it from returning to the real. That envy that comes with an inferiority complex always compensated by a superiority complex, keeps the mind trapped in a duality, that it is helpless to overcome from within its own frame of reference in which lack feels all too real. But this lack is the waste product created by its own dream function. Its own dream function that turned into the desire for what was dreamed, which then trapped one within the dream matrix. And in that trap, the doorway to liberation was lost. It is only through the silence of surrender to the God Self that the portal will open again and the way to freedom will appear and be traversable through the waves of silence that guide the attention unerringly back to the Lotus Throne and then to the source of all. May you take that path without delay. <laughs>